Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mesh Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're going to learn about how to work with class names in the DOM and how we're going to use them in find elements. So in the last session, we have seen how to work with names and ID. And if you wanted to learn how to work with them, do watch my earlier session. I will share the link in the description. And if you are new to Python Selenium series, then we need some prerequisites. So those are uh, Python, which is a software we need to install. And we need a PyCharm editor for where we want to use the IDE. And we need a Selenium libraries and the driver executable files. So if you don't know how to do all these things, do watch my earlier sessions where I have shared all in detailed uh, video. I will share those video links in description. So let's get started and let me open a PyCharm editor. And this is our sample project where we have two folders created under it, which is a browsers and which is a test cases, where in browser we want to share all the exe files and in the test cases we're going to write the automated test cases. So I'm going to right click to my test cases and go to new and then create a file. I'm going to create a Python file. Let's say test cases. This is class name. Right. So once it created, I need to import Selenium packages. So let's say from Selenium import web driver. It's web driver. Supposed to be on a one single line. Let me pull that to this line. Import. And this is a web driver. Yeah. After that, we need to create a driver reference. So for that, I will create a variable called driver and where I will call a web driver dot. So in the last sessions, we have used Chrome and Firefox. Today, we will cover Edge browser. So we're going to take Edge here. And we need to provide a driver executable file in this location. So I already have the executable file in my browsers. So I'm going to take this MS web driver, I mean edge driver. I'm going to copy the absolute path for this. So this is absolute path and I need to paste this here. As I am on a Windows operating system. So I need to provide double forward slashes here. Quickly save and in the next line, so this line refers. So, generally, people think that by calling this statement, it will automatically open a browser and it will call a application. So, it will not. So, for that, we need to again write one more line. So, here I will say uh, maximize the browser window. So to maximize browser window, we need to again call driver dot maximize window. And in the next line, so let's I need to open a web page. Open web page using get statement. So this will be driver dot get. And here we need to provide the application URL. So I'm going to use one of the application called Facebook as an example where it has some uh, the elements which we are using in our automation series. I mean the page elements. After that, we need to use the elements to be located. So we need to locate look elements. elements by using find element with class name so for that i'm going to use driver dot find element so i'm going to need to use find element and here i need to import this by so that will be of type we need to mouse over on it so once it gives the import selenium driver commons, so we need to import from there and then we need to type for class name. 
so we are discussing about class name right so i'm gonna use the class name here so let me go back to the browser and i can quickly inspect it and after inspecting i can find the class name from here so i can use class name from here so few people uh, has difficulty in finding all the elements from the dom so there is a tool called selector sub where you can use that to uh, find easy way of approaches for elements so it will provide all the list of elements so you can see here there are check boxes here now i wanted to use only class so for that i will remove all and i will use only class here so now you can see uh, it has provided the class name here so same is there here also so if you find difficulty finding from dom you can use this tool this tool help you to find the uh, all the locators in one go so i can copy this name from here or you can copy from here so both are same and this is the quickest one so if you find difficulty in this so for that i'm gonna use this as a class name dot send keys is used to send the data to that form so i'm gonna use some abc web date one two three or anything that is like an email address and in the next line i'm gonna use driver dot find element and here i'm gonna use by dot class name so once we import it we don't need to import again and again so from this password we're gonna see what is the class name for this so here it has a class name so we can use this class name and here in the uh, tool also we can find it so it says the same class name we can copy that class name from here and we're gonna come back to our pycharm and dot send keys so we need to send the password and in the next line we need to submit or we need to click login so for that i need to again find the class so this for this button we have a class here so we're gonna see in the tool so in the tool we have this class name So we can copy uh, by using this copy button here against it and go back to this browser I mean by champ. I think this should be by dot class name and this is the class name dot click. So as it's a button we need to perform click action in that. So once it's done, I'm gonna say driver dot close so this will close the browser session you can use this reference comments and you can find against the what syntax we have used for what is the purpose of using it and let me quickly save and right click and run this program so it has started it has opened the edge browser and it is launching Fire, I mean, just launch it to Facebook and it has to enter the values. I think it is ex exited before, so I think it is not finding the class names or. There is no such element located okay i might be using all the class references so we can uh, decrease few of them let me see which are the unique ones here so these are the unique ones in the class so i'm gonna remove remaining things so these are the class references let's see if this works or not Let me again rerun.
so it's still not recognizing the class name so let me again filter out few more so we have this one more class we have extra class here so every space referring to one one class name so you have to filter till you have only one class name reference so i thought those are uh, one class but those are two different classes let me again right click to this program and run so this time it should run so if it is not running then uh, the class names are not working correctly so i have used a unique class name so that it will identify as one unique element and it provide uh, as soon as it identified it will exit execute that code so it's opening but there is something issue happening with the edge browser it is not opening let me quickly cancel this and again reopen it again i will execute So it has executed the code and there is no errors so the reason behind the uh, errors which we faced just now is we are using all the class references so i have filtered out all the class references we have one two three four five six so i have used only one class reference from out of these many so it worked fine so in case if you face any issue with the class name and uh, you see the same issue then try to filter out few names then you will find the exact location and these are all planned for this session and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries do comment in my comment box and the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with colleague and thank you for watching